Venus, the second planet from the Sun and the hottest planet in the solar system, with no moons or any ring system. Venus is sometimes called Earth's twin, because Venus and Earth are almost the same size, have about the same mass, and have a very similar composition. They are also neighboring planets. However, Venus and Earth are also very different. Venus has an atmosphere that is about 90 times thicker than Earth's and has surface temperatures that are extremely hot. Venus does not have life or water oceans like Earth does. It also rotates backwards compared to Earth and the other planets. Venus is the second closest planet to the Sun, at a distance of 108.9 million kilometers or 0.7 AU, receiving the sunlight in six minutes. Its closest approach to Earth happens once every 584 days, when the planets catch up to one another. On average it can get as close as 25 million miles or 40 million kilometers to Earth. It has a mass of 4.87 into 10 raised to 24 kilograms, or 81% that of Earth. Venus has a radius of 6,051 kilometers and a diameter of 12,104 kilometers, slightly smaller than Earth. The volume of Venus is 9.28 into 10 raised to 11 cubic kilometers. For comparison, the volume of Venus is 86% the volume of the Earth. Since Venus and Earth are almost the same size and have about the same mass, the surface gravity on Venus is almost the same as the surface gravity on Earth. The surface gravity on Venus is about 91% of the surface gravity on Earth, so if you weigh 100 pounds on Earth, you would weigh 91 pounds on Venus. The surface of Venus is a very hot and dry place. Most of the surface is made up of gently rolling plains. It has several mountains and volcanoes and much of its surface is covered with old lava flows. The highest mountain on Venus is Maxwell Montes. It is more than 7 miles high and is higher than Mount Everest. There are more volcanoes on Venus than on any other planet in the solar system. Astronomers know of more than 1,600 volcanoes on its surface. Venus' atmosphere is mostly carbon dioxide gas, with some nitrogen and a very small amount of water vapor. Venus also has a thick layer of sulfuric acid clouds. The sulfur in the clouds gives Venus its yellowish appearance. The clouds in Venus's atmosphere also move very fast, reaching speeds of 220 miles per hour or 350 kilometers per hour. The atmosphere of Venus is too thick for us to see its surface, however, Radar can pass through the thick atmosphere of Venus, allowing us to find out what the surface is like. Several landers from the former Soviet Union have landed on Venus. They were only able to send us information for a short time because the extremely high temperature and pressure on the surface of Venus melted and crushed the landers. The first successful arrival at Venus was that by Mariner II in 1962. On December 15, 1970, an unmanned Soviet spacecraft Venera 7, became the first spacecraft to land on another planet. It measured the temperature of the atmosphere on Venus. In 1972, Venera 8 gathered atmospheric and surface data for 50 minutes after landing. On October 22, 1975, Venera 9 landed on the surface of Venus. It took the first close-up photograph of the planet's surface. The interior of Venus is made of a metallic iron core that's roughly 6,000 kilometers wide. Venus crust is mostly basalt, and is estimated to be 10 to 20 kilometers thick, on average. The interior of Venus is probably similar to Earth's interior. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system with an average surface temperature of 462 Celsius. It is so hot because it is surrounded by a very thick atmosphere which is about 90 times more massive than our atmosphere here on Earth. As sunlight passes through the dense atmosphere, it heats up the surface of Venus. Most of this heat cannot escape back into space because it is blocked by the very thick atmosphere of Venus. The heat becomes trapped and builds up to extremely high temperatures. This trapping of heat by the atmosphere is called the greenhouse effect. 
The greenhouse effect on Venus causes the temperatures at its surface to reach temperatures as high as 462 degrees Celsius. The surface is hot enough to melt lead, making Venus the hottest planet in the entire solar system. The atmospheric pressure on the surface on Venus is equivalent to being around 1 km under Earth's oceans. Also, Venus doesn't tilt on its axis which means there are no seasons either. One day on Venus is longer than one year. Due to the slow rotation on its axis, it takes 243 Earth days to complete one rotation. The orbit of the planet takes 225 Earth days making a year on Venus shorter than a day on Venus. And, because of this sluggish spin, its metal core cannot generate a magnetic field similar to Earth's. The magnetic field of Venus is 0.000015 times that of Earth's magnetic field. While Venus is not nearly the largest planet of the solar system, its proximity to Earth makes it the brightest of the planets in the sky. It also qualifies as the second brightest object in the nighttime sky, after only the Moon.